So that's the four bar linkage here. We have the crank, the coupler, and the rocker. We know the length A, B, C, as well as the distance D. So the point 1 and point 4 are fixed. So let's make point 1 at the origin and point 4 with the x coordinate at the distance d and y coordinate equal to 0. What we need to know is the positions of P2 and P3 over time. P2 is equal to, let's say this angle here is equal to theta. So P2 has the x coordinate equal to A cosine theta and the y coordinate equal to A sine theta. We know theta, and the only problem here is that we don't know this angle here. So we need to know the angle here so that we can find positions that P3 assumes over time. First, let's draw a line between the points 2, 4. And let's call this line, let's call the distance between these two points equals to E. And let's call this angle here equal to alpha and this one here beta. So by the law of cosines, we know that E squared is equal to a squared plus d squared minus 2a d cosine of theta. So with this formula we can find e. Also we find e we can find alpha by the law of the law of the signs. So E over sine of theta is going to be equal to A over sine of alpha. So alpha is going to be sine the inverse of the sine of sine of theta times a over e. Next step is to find beta. Also by the law of cosines we have that b squared is equal to e squared plus c squared minus 2 times d times c cosine of b beta. By this we can find that beta is equal to the inverse of the cosine of minus b squared minus e squared minus c squared over q times e times c. So that's going to be equal to the inverse of the cosine e squared plus c squared minus b squared over q times e times c. 
So basically we find E and then we find alpha by this formula and then we find beta by this one here. So the point P3 Uh, the x coordinate is d minus c cosine of alpha plus beta and the y coordinate is c times sine of alpha plus beta So that's it. We have all the information we need to write the, the script.